those cars you see him flaunt, he used to borrow them from friends. My God. This young man has been jobless for a long time now. Currently, he is not doing anything. <laughs> I go. What an awesome uh, service. You know, today was superb. Man of God. Yes. God bless you for coming. Thank you very much. Ah! Man of God, we cannot recover from this in a hurry. It was just God. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. You're welcome. You're May welcome. the Lord bless you and your ministry. Amen. Amen. And uh, secondly, Man of God, this is the brother I was talking to you about in my office. Okay. He's the one the Lord just brought our way. Okay. And we are very excited to meet with him. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Man of God, he's the one the Lord brought our way to help us complete this church building project. Oh, he's the one? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. He has vowed to give the church the sum of 5 million naira. 5 million? Yes. To finish this project. What a great heart of sacrifice. Please help me pray for him. Mm. Do that for me, please. Um, I must commend the heart you have for God. Thank you very much. Eh? The heart of sacrifice. Thank you, sir. It is not everybody that can do this for God. Yes. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. A spirit of the living God. Shakatali Abashanama. Ah! There is something wrong somewhere. Man of God. Something is wrong somewhere. The Spirit of God is saying that I shouldn't pray for him. Something is wrong. <laughs> I can see deception and fake life. You are Daniel, right? Yes. Daniel, I want to ask you a question. How do you um, intend to, to pay the money you are about to the church? <laughs> Man of God, I have decided to donate 5 million naira to build the house of my father. <laughs> Kai. Man of God, I can see deception and fake life. Mr. Daniel, let me ask you again. You have two accounts, is that correct? Yes. I can tell you from the spirit that those two accounts, you don't have up to 50,000 Naira in them. And the last time you ever saw 100,000 was one year ago. Then how do you plan to give church 5 million Naira? Well, Daniel, one of God, let me ask you. I can see in the spirits that this young man has made all of you think he works in an oil company. Yes! Yes! Is that correct? He said that to me himself. <laughs> but I don't understand what is going on. And uh, he normally comes to church with different cars hmm? to make you people think that he's rich. Yes. <laughs> so why is that you're saying all this? Man of, God, man of God, listen to me. We have to be very, very careful. This young man you see here, does not have up to 100,000 in this account. All those cars you see him flaunt, he used to borrow them from friends. Oh my God. This young man has been jobless for a long time now. Currently, he is not doing anything. He only came to impress people, to intimidate others. I can see in the spirit, man of God, who is Sister Veronica? She's our church lead vocalist. Your church lead vocalist? Yes, a choir member. Did he ever tell you that he wants to marry Sister Veronica? Yes. He said that to me himself. He said he he's interested you. in her. Now let me shock you. He came out to make that vow. Eh? To impress the church, to intimidate others, and to impress Sister Veronica so that she can say yes to him. My God. Hey! You see people like this, they are everywhere. Not just in your church. People don't have fear of God again. <laughs> you came out and stand on the altar of God to make a vow you know you are not going to keep. Don't you know you are, you are, you are placing costs on yourself? You see? 
People like this are the people that come into the church and make others feel intimidated and make others look like they are stingy and make others look like they don't love God. When they come to show off with their fake life, you have to be very careful. Please, I have to be going because I have another program to attend to. Please, uh, see me your friends. You're welcome. Brother Daniel, he's a friend of us.